Right, let's not worry about the snow behind us. Don't worry about that in Scotland. Today, we're going to build a golf swing, stack and tilt. Me and you, we're going to build a golf swing over the next three videos, a couple of minutes each video, to build a golf swing using the stack and tilt method. Bye. Bennett and Plummer. Roll them. Okay, stack and tilt golf swing method by Michael Bennett and Andy Plummer with Peter Maurice. Morris? Maurice. What is stack and tilt? Put simply, the stack and tilt, this is their manual, this is where it all comes from. Put simply, the stack and tilt swing is a mechanically simpler way to hit the ball. The traditional golf swing features a big shift away from the target on the backswing with the upper body moving behind the ball. Fair enough. And a corresponding shift towards the target on the downswing. Fair enough. The problem with these moves, with those moves, is that as you shift back and through, you must find the ball somewhere in the middle. If you don't time the shift perfectly, you won't make solid contact which is the first requirement to becoming a proficient golfer. Agreed. Before we start this, make sure you've got a golf club in your hand. Let's try this with a golf club in your hand. Whether you hit balls or not, just swing it. Try and feel the motion. Go and get a golf club right now. Come on, hurry up. Go and get it. I'm standing here waiting on you. Good lad. Nice one. Let's go. On page 27 of the Stack and Tilt, um, because stack and stilt contradicts much of what is taught about golf swing, it's important that you approach these first swings with an open mind and a willingness to focus on a one piece at a time. As you progress through the moves described above, you should see improvement as prescribed by the fundamentals, solid first contact. Here's the, blah, 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 blah. Here's the basic progression in a 30 minute practice session. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to break this into three videos. We're going to do the first two parts here. Third and fourth part in the next video, and then finish off the fifth part in the third video. They'll just be very short, snappy, bang, bang, bang. This is how we learn stack and tilt. So, in order to do this, I need to grab a middle club, mid club, according to the book. I guess out of these three, that's the middle one. So I have my mid iron. It says there, with a middle club, hit 10 shots, focusing on keeping the weight on the front foot. So I have to hit 10 balls, let me get a target in place here. 10 balls, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. So 10 balls, focusing on keeping the weight on the front foot. So this is the first part of stacking tilt. So I'll take my normal address position. The right foot has to be kicked out slightly. Let's get that first of all. So right foot, feet flared out. I'm going to hit 10 shots, focusing on the left shoulder, sorry, the left, keeping the weight on the front left foot. Front left foot, only left foot. There we go, weight's left, keep the weight left, 10 shots. Good, felt very centred over the golf ball. Okay, so I guess this Weight being left, I'm obviously doing this quicker than we should be doing it. I mean, this should be a half hour session. I guess the weight being left is to prevent that, as we said in the intro there, the weight transferring away from the ball or moving away from the ball, transferring back through to the ball and past the ball. So I guess the weight staying left is stopping the moving away from the golf ball. How was it that was worded? So the weight staying left will prevent the body moving behind the ball and a corresponding shift towards the target and downswing. So this is preventing me having this lateral movement or sense of gravity moving away from the ball by keeping my weight left. I mean, that's 10 balls keeping my weight on my left foot. I felt much more centred over the golf ball. There certainly was obviously no movement away from the ball with my centre, swing centre, or back towards or over the top of the ball. My weight was on my left foot. I hit the ball pretty well. It's all good. So I now have to hit the next 10 balls with the weight forward. So the weight still on my left, weight forward, and the left shoulder turning down on the back swing. So my weight's left, 
and it stays left, but now my left shoulder has to turn down on the back swing and then hit golf ball. I can do that. Left shoulder down, weight left. Get that bit heavy. Okay, that feels that feels different. Left shoulder going down, weight staying left. That was really good. So left shoulder going down, that's going to change the the plane of my shoulders. It's not going to be so up and out. It's going to be more down and round, but more left bend, I guess. Weight left, left shoulder down. Nope. When is that? Three, six, nine, ten. Okay. Again, left shoulder down, weight left, weight left, left shoulder down. Struggling a little bit with strike here because I'm focusing so much on the left shoulder going down. A little bit tricky. Weight left. Keeping the weight left and the left shoulder down. Quite hard to do two things at once. That was good. That was really good. I can feel as though my shoulders, there's much more tilt, if you like. I'm not as up and out of that. I do feel as though. There's more, um, the shoulders lie on a more upright plane, or swing on a more upright plane because of this. Yeah, okay, I'm starting to feel that now. Weight left, this is the visual of me having a more steeper shoulder turn. It's getting me a good ball fight now. Two more. That's the first two parts of five parts of how we can build a stacking, st stacking what? So that's the first two parts, first two elements of our five part build a stacking swing golf swing or technique. Um, I hope you had your club there. Okay, what's that all about? Right, that's the first two parts of a five part stacking swing, stacking tilt golf swing. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs>